Welcome to African Dream Motivation. Marisol Apparton is the name that comes to mind when we talk about perseverance at the highest level. She was born as a normal child and was growing up as everyone does. In September 2000, when she was just a day away from her 12th birthday, her greatest tragedy befell her, and her life was never the same again. She and her uncle were on their way to fetch water, but suddenly, there stood before them four men with weapons. These men were their neighbors, and she knew them very well. Before her eyes, her uncle was brutally murdered. She panicked and took to her heels. The men chased her, and even though she begged for her life, they slashed her on the neck and other parts of her body with a long knife, and she lost consciousness. When she woke up, she still saw the feet of the men and pretended to be dead until they left. She tried running back home. Along the way, she realized that both her hands were falling off since they were cut. She cried and kept running. On the way, she fainted and fell to the ground several times, but she regained consciousness and ran again. When she got closer to the house, she shouted, calling her mother. Upon seeing her daughter brutally butchered with blood oozing out uncontrollably, she wrapped her in a cloth and rushed her to the nearby hospital. The fascinating detail was that from their house to the highway was about 12 km walk. It took them four hours just to reach the highway. When they got to the hospital, the doctor even thought she was dead. The operation lasted for five hours and she barely survived with her life. Sadly, when they got home, their house was burnt down and everything they had was lost. Her uncle paid for her hospital bills and made sure those responsible for such injustice were arrested and penalized by the law. She struggled to cope with living without hands as she experienced rough treatment from people who teased her and made her feel bad. Irrespective of her situation, she was determined to make it in life and leave a legacy. In 2008, she graduated from a course in hotel and restaurant management and even received a gold award for arts and crafts. Also in 2011, she completed her education to become a chef, and today, She's a chef in Elsa Shangri-La Hotel in Manila. With no hands, she persevered to rise through life to such an honorable status. She has been an inspiration to a lot of people. Her story is proof that disability is not inability. No matter how bad life had been, you can still make an impact. Be inspired and never give up. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, share this video with anyone you believe will love it as you did. Thanks again. See you in our next video. Until then, have a nice day.